Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Thursday, June 30th, 2022. It's the last day of June, halfway through the year. And uh, yeah, so it's a cloudy, rainy day outside here in central Wisconsin. And I think it's going to be that way for pretty much most of the day, cloudy and rainy. So be aware of that as you go about your day here in the Wausau area. Um, and if you're not in Wausau, enjoy your day. I hope the weather's better where you are. <laughs> So, uh, check in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. Leave a comment or a question below if you have one. My coffee here in my Al's breakfast mug. My uh, Pastor John's blessed beans, my Al's breakfast mug. So, cheers, church. And if you ever find yourself in Minneapolis and uh, uh, around the University of Minnesota, just on the north, kind of the northwest side of the U there, there's uh, Al's Breakfast is uh, in the little neighborhood called Dinky Town. So check out Al's Breakfast, about 14 stools. Uh, you have to stand in line, cash only, but delicious food. So check that out if you're there. Our devotion today comes from Christ in Our Home, uh, the last one in Christ in Our Home, before we start the new one. Uh, the writer is Pastor Susie Gamlin, retired living in Colorado. And our scripture reading today is Isaiah 66, 10 to 14. Isaiah 66, 10 to 14. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you who love with her, all you who love her. Rejoice with her in joy, all you who mourn over her, that you may nurse and be satisfied from her consoling breasts that you may drink deeply with delight from her glorious bosom. For thus says the Lord, I will extend prosperity to her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing stream, and you shall nurse, and you shall nurse and be carried on her arm, and dandled on her knees. As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. You shall be comforted in Jerusalem. You shall see, and your heart shall rejoice. Your bodies shall flourish like grass, and it shall be known that the hand of the Lord is with his servants, and his indignation is against his enemies. Okay. <clears throat> the Devo is titled Balm for Anxiety, and the theme verse is verse 13. As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. Are you anxious, restless, weary, unfocused, cranky, shoulders hunched up to your ears, nights filled with dysfunctional thoughts? Does your brain fail to make sense of politics, COVID, climate change, and the hatred of whoever is different? <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least some of those, I think, for all of us, right? At least some, maybe most of those. Yeah, a lot of things there. So, continuing on. If your answer is yes, then my guess is that you experience at least some anxiety. She's a pretty good guesser, isn't she? I wish that congregations would form 3 a.m. clubs where we anxious ones could gather in jammies and bathrobes over warm milk, loving conversation, and prayer. When my anxiety threatens to overwhelm me, I imagine myself to be in God's womb. I'm floating there. The womb's warm tissues surround and comfort me. The light is gentle, as if I've thrown a red scarf over my bedside lamp. As I float, I am nurtured by God's abundance. Gone are my fears and my worries. Present is the knowledge that I am God's beloved child. In this time of anxiety, God comforts me and all of us, just as a mother comforts her child. It's a beautiful image there. Uh, when I am feeling anxious, um, or, or no, let's just say anxious for now, that uh, I, I, my vision is of me and Jesus, you know, Pastor Susie envisions herself in God's womb. I visit me and Jesus um, sitting together on a rock in a forest. And his hand is around my shoulder. And it's there. 
it's just that presence and, and knowing that uh, Jesus is with me, that God is with me. And, and often um, I use the Jesus prayer um, and various forms of that. There's the, the full prayer is Lord Jesus Christ, and it's a breathing prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you, you pray on the in-breath, have mercy on me, you breathe on, you pray on the out-breath, on the exhale. And so when I inhale, you know, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, exhale. Um, I, I, I'll change the words of that second part depending on what um, what's going on. You know, be present with me, give me peace, um, calm my nerves, uh, things like that. You can change up that second part, and that breathing prayer really helps me in, in those times of anxiety and nervousness and worry and the 3 a.m. wake-ups that you just kind of wake up and you're wondering why, and then all those thoughts, um, worries, anxieties fill powering your head. Off. Whoops, my, my Bluetooth speaker's powering off. There we go. So that might be a sign to power this Devo off. But anyway, so I commend that Jesus prayer to you, a breathing prayer, any type of breathing prayer that will kind of bring you into God's presence um, and remind you of God's presence with you and, and what a, what's, whatever vision works for you in that, whether it's, you know, walking through a forest or sitting on a couch together or whatever, uh, that vision that you have of being in God's presence, uh, that will help as you pray. So, uh, be a strong heart, good courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Practice all those COVID safe practices. We're still hovering between medium and high here in Marathon County, so please keep uh, wearing those masks and distance as appropriate. We do these things to show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. Um, just a note about, we, ha we do have worship tonight in person in the Fellowship Hall at 6 and worship at 9 in the Sanctuary. That will be live streamed on YouTube and then posted to YouTube and Facebook uh, later on Sunday. Um, there, uh, with the July 4th weekend, July 4th being a Monday, there won't be a Devo on, on, on Monday. We'll restart these on Tuesday, July 5th. So, let's pray. We're hanging by our fingernails until we let go and fall into your lap, O God, divine parent of us all. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Have a great weekend. Enjoy it. Should, weather here uh, should be wonderful, so get out and enjoy it. I hope the weather, if you're not in the Wausau area, I hope the weather is good where you are as well. So, blessings upon you. Peace.